Hello and welcome back to the final episode of our vlog series of 2023. In our last video, we delved into the world of Japanese New Year traditions. If you haven't caught up on the previous episodes, don't worry, you can find the entire journey in the playlist linked above. Before we dive into today's episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more travel adventures and recipe videos in the future. Okay, so let's dive into today's video. It was the next day and Hikaru went for a short visit with his family. In the meantime, I explored the area around our hotel in Yokohama. I wanted to visit the Isayama Kotaijingu. However, New Year traditions in Japan span several days. Unfortunately, the shrine was very crowded as a result. So, I decided to visit a nearby park instead. Adjacent to the park, there was a free zoo, so I also made a quick stop there. After the zoo, I visited the Kubuyama Cemetery. Have any of you ever visited a cemetery in Japan? I find the graves truly impressive, especially when compared to those in Europe. Near the cemetery, there was also a small temple. I returned to the hotel for a short break and grabbed the warm azuki bean soup on the way. Did you know that you can also use your PASMO card to pay at vending machines? The next day we mainly went shopping around the city of Yokohama. The Christmas lights still illuminated the city at night. We also visited my favorite restaurant chain for running sushi. At Kuda Sushi, you sit at normal private tables where the sushi passes by each seat. You can also power your own hot green tea for free. The sushi plates are protected by lids. 
If you want to eat one of the randomly selected sushi, you have to pull the plate by the small gap to open the lid. When you finish your plate, just throw it into the opening at your table. From here it is then transported directly to the kitchen. This way you also unlock a mini game. With every fifth plate you have the chance to win a small prize. If you win the mini game, a small gacha ball rolls out of the machine. We won a small salmonigiri key holder. The next few times we were less lucky. You can also place your own sushi orders through a tablet. English language setting is also available. When the order arrives on the upper floor, you will hear a ding dong sound and the name of the order is announced. The next day was our last day in Japan. We went back to Tokyo and made a stop in Ginza. Here we went to the Sony store to buy a new phone for Hikaru. Robot dogs were also on display in the Sony store. They were really adorable. We did some more shopping to get the last few souvenirs. In the evening we went to Akihabara. We had a reservation later that day at the theme cafe. If you have never heard about Akihabara before, here you can find all sorts of items related to gaming or anime as well as many arcade gaming halls and electronic stores. We arrived at the Eosea Café. It was a themed café dedicated to Final Fantasy XIV, a game we used to play with friends at that time. 
But there were also other themed cafes in the building, such as one for Dragon Quest. In Final Fantasy XIV, there are three possible starting cities for your adventure. For this reason, there are also three cafes located in Tokyo, each designed to represent one of the starting cities. We visited the one designed after the city of Gridania. When you enter the cafe, you receive a coaster of your choice and the design of a job class. We also received a table mat with the Japanese New Year design for the Year of the Rabbit. The menu had a large selection of cocktails, themed after the story characters and job classes. We chose the ninja cocktail and the one themed after the crystal exorc. With each order you also receive another random coaster. For the main course we ordered the Roban beef shichu and this cute curry. For dessert we ordered some mochi. The next morning we woke up very early to head to Haneda airport. Sadly our journey comes to an end here. But we'll be back soon. We are planning to visit Japan again during the cherry blossom season. In the meantime there will be more cooking videos on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. The view of Tokyo from the airplane never fails to impress me. It truly is a brief taking city, at the foot of Mount Fuji. And every time it's a cultural shock to be back in Europe. Thanks for being part of our adventure. I hope you had a good impression of our journey. What were your favorite moments from our journey? Feel free to share in the comments. I would love to hear what you enjoyed the most. I am also happy to announce to you that we have recently gotten engaged. Therefore, 2024 will be an exciting new chapter for us. Hope to see you next time again. Bye!